Do you feel that you are a soft person inside? <laughs> but come off as a hard person on the outside. So do you feel like, you know, when you interact with people, they find you hard and they find you um, like someone who's very close off, but you yourself know that, you know, I'm a soft person. And they just don't know me well enough. Or maybe the world has made me this way. And that's why I'm closed off. You know, at first glance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, everybody has their own little situations going on. And it, 
is good to give yourself a break from feeling, you know, like, uh, like you're the wrong all the time. Okay, I think that everything is 100% justified in terms of emotional well-being, feeling. Let's move on to something more wacky. <laughs> okay, let's talk personal questions. And when I say personal, I mean ecstatically personal. Number one is religion. Do you have any association with God? Do you feel like God exists? Do you feel like you should submit yourself to a deity. This is an open-ended question and, you know, everybody has their own um, personal situation and their own experience. So feel free to, you know, corroborate your answer on however you feel. Okay? Mm-hmm. I think everybody's entitled to their own feelings and I don't think we should judge another person that is ultimately up to God to do so however you feel I'm happy for you and I hope that it gives you peace and um, contentment because that is the ultimate goal second let's talk about relationships between the artists relationships How happy are you in your relationship? Do you feel like the person makes you happy? Do you feel like you feel satisfied? Or is there something missing? Is there a lack of spontaneity? Spontaneity? Is there a lack of desire? Is the person just not doing it for you? I think relationships you need to be somewhat give and take but you also need to know like the person either does it for you or they don't like we can't compromise on that <laughs> I'm sorry but we can't okay well as long as you feel that you can get yourself, you know, in you can you can, you know, as long as you can wake up and say, I know that this person makes me happy, I think that's all that matters. And sometimes you don't get a choice, sometimes you have to love someone because that's just life. I guess. <laughs> so, relationship. Let's talk about SE. Let's talk about SE. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. So, a lot of people have trouble with this topic. I think because it's so open ended and so difficult. But let's talk about it. Is it something that we should be talking about? Is it something that people should keep private? Or is it something that they should, you know, come out with? What do you think? And then obviously depending on your answer, my next question is if you feel like people should, you know, be open about it, do you think today's world is the way to go? How it's been done? You know, obviously EO is a big part of today's society, which I don't agree with. That's just my personal opinion. I think a lot of people differ on this one, whether they agree on it or not. Personally, I don't. I feel like it's a problem. 
which people get themselves into. And I think it's just a way to escape human contact, which is so much better. Um, aside from that, let's talk about, you know, making each other happy. Does that part of life, is it everything? I think in a relationship, it is important to have a healthy sex life just so that you don't resent one another or so that you can you know fulfill your desire obviously but I do think that to a certain extent you have to have like a good relationship and you have to be attracted like you can have a good emotional relationship but you need to have a good physical relationship as well they go hand in hand it's not like one versus the other so that's my take on it how do you feel about it do you think that it is more important i think you know this differs some people feel it's more important some people feel it's not it's entirely up to you so how do you view it Mm -hmm. yes well, I think that that is completely valid and as long as you do what makes you happy, I think that's all that matters. <laughs> okay guys, this is the end of our session. I'm so glad that you were here and just want to let you know that you are welcome to you know, whatever you feel, you're welcome to feel that way. In this world, everybody is so, you know, like, picky about how people feel and what they do. And everybody has opinions, like, on everybody else's lives. Which I don't agree with. So, however you've answered any of the questions, if you have some sort of... Um, if you are feeling some sort of emotion about it, like you're feeling guilt or something, don't. You are entitled to feel the way you feel. At the end of the day, what matters is your actions and how you move forward and how you treat the next person. But how you feel is how you feel at the end of the day. Society shouldn't tell you to feel... A certain way if you don't and you shouldn't let anybody make you feel you know like oh you're not the best person or you're not a good person you absolutely are even if you feel you know you wake up in the morning and you feel like today I just want to kill someone emotionally that's like a sign that you just feel drained you're not actually gonna go out and do that and some days you might wake up and feel like you're walking on sunshine. That's not going to last forever. But they both go hand in hand. You know, there's a documentary that I watched about Ted Bundy. And as crazy as he did certain things, at one point he did love someone enough not to do anything to her. So it makes you wonder, you know, if he just chose not to do anything, he would have been such a different person. But he chose to do the wrong thing. Maybe he did wake up and feel and have these crazy feelings. But if he could change for one person, just for one day, I think he could change for his life. I just think he didn't want to. I think you have a choice in life and sometimes you just make the wrong one. Obviously he is as crazy because he made a lot of wrong decisions but he's dead now so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that this little talk inspired you and made you feel a little bit better about whatever it is that you were going through. And I hope only peace and happiness and contentment for you. And I hope to see you again on my channel.